Daily in the headlines at the moment, you hear about the prices of houses in Auckland. The whole country gets to find out that an average Auckland house is worth $975,000. Well, here in Dunedin, there's a bit of a boom going on at the moment as well. 10.3% uh, jump in house prices to May last year. And a lot, of, a lot of people are pointing the bone at those bloody Aucklanders coming to Dunedin and buying up real estate, driving up the house prices and making it difficult for young Dunedinites to get into their first house, David. Yeah, I mean, I think I think it would. it's good to have people coming here. I've always thought we need about... 50,000 more people living in the city to make it really good. That's go. just a, you know, off the top of my head sort of number. Um, so that's all very well. I, I guess the concern would be if, if this was property investors rather than people actually moving here. Um, certainly if the, the house prices keep going up and, you know, it's going to be difficult for people who are trying to get in, into the market. One of the joys of Dunedin used to be that it had very low real estate prices and while the wages were a bit lower, the real estate was also. That's kind of uh, no longer the case, is it? And it's, yeah, it's a bit of a pity, but that's the way it goes. So you talk about outside of um, Dunedin investment, investors buying up. I believe uh, the research showed the same research from May this year versus May last year that outside the city accounted for 8% of sales, mm. right? Of which 3% were Aucklanders. So three in 100 sales were Aucklanders. 8% mm. were outside the city. It's a bit to me, and for someone who did talk back for many years, already, always hearing about, you know, those bloody international people, those people from China and Japan coming into Auckland and buying up the thing. It seems to be the same argument, and I would actually give out the same response. If it is 8%, I, I struggle to be concerned about only 92% of the rest of the houses being sold to Dunedin locals. That seems like plenty of houses to go around to me. Uh, if that 8% is driving the house prices up too much, I, look, I understand someone comes in with you know, three, four, five hundred thousand dollars capital from Auckland or from Wellington or from Christchurch actually, or Queenstown, some of the bigger places that are you know, bigger as in uh, cost of houses, then other people will get blocked out of the marketplace. But 92% of the houses at the moment, according to this research, are being bought from people from Dunedin. Is it really an issue? Mm. I mean, 10% jump is a lot, so something's yep. certainly happening in the market, isn't it? Um, it's okay if you've got a house, because your house keeps going up in price, but uh, as I say, it's a wee bit tricky if, you, if, you, if you're starting, isn't it? I have to say, yeah. though, the idea of um, getting capital in your house also does things like, we had conversations earlier about the housing stock. So the reason that people in Auckland, for example, can upgrade their houses is because their growth is many times more than Dunedin. So the house price increases by 100k. Mm. So they spend 50k on a bathroom mm. or on a kitchen, and therefore the the stock, the quality of house is better. Do there they, is, do there, they really have that money though, or is it just a kind of a strange illusion? Oh, it's paper shuffling. There's no yeah. there's no reason to say it's not paper shuffling. Mm. But what it means is the stock of housing is a lot better. If houses here all had 100k equity in them, mm. you, you wouldn't see some of the houses that we've already talked about this week and last week, and the concerns about some of those houses that are in, for example, South Dunedin. Not that I'm pointing at South Dunedin, but if you have capital and equity in your house, you can then use that capital to upgrade your house. You then have a better housing stock. Mm. And, you know, I, I know that for people who have lived in Dunedin all their lives and they used to buy a house for eight pounds 42 that it does seem to be increasing it was up to 10 pounds it was up to 10 pounds yeah. but you know a house for 250 300k compared to what's happening around new zealand is still an incredibly cheap house to purchase and you know if a young person or a young couple can't afford 250 or 300k remember 320k is the average so there's still houses for 222 32 40 if they can't afford that then i'm sorry they can't afford to buy a house anywhere for any reason